One of the great things about Readwise and apps that integrate with it, such as the podcast player Snipped, is that it can get information into your digital mind without the all the unnecessary friction of having to manually do so. So you can spend more time on note crafting rather than on note management. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Jeffrey and in this video I'm going to show you how I have Snipped and Readwise integrated together, how I've customized the export out of Readwise into my digital mind which is currently in the note taking app Obsidian and how I filter in Obsidian to see all those inputs so that I can process them into notes. So let's dive in and take a look. So setting up the Readwise integration with Snip is super simple. Just go to your Snipped podcast player app on your phone or device, then go to the account tab down on the bottom. The very first item you have is Readwise integration. Just click to enable that. And then if you don't have your access token in there already, you just click the find my Readwise access token here. You have the sign into Readwise to get it and it will copy it over to the uh, Snipped player. Then you can choose whether or not you want the summary or transcript, transcript also included. I don't. I just like having the link to the audio of the snip that I can listen back to uh, later. So I have those turned off. And that's it. That's all you need to do to set up the integration between Readwise and Snip. So let's take a look at how I have my export configured for Obsidian. There's a couple things that I wanted to highlight. Now, oftentimes when you're consuming a piece of content, people will number the article or the episode of the podcast. Tim Ferriss does this a lot, so his podcasts are number 568 or whatever it might be. And because modern note-taking apps interpret those hashtags as actual tags and create new pages uh, within the system itself, you don't want to be inadvertently doing that or having to clean it up later. So I have a replace uh, function set up here so that I replace number one, any periods with spaces and more importantly, anything with the number sign, the hashtag is just completely removed. So I'm not inadvertently creating those tags and having to mess around with them after the fact. Now, the other thing that I wanted to highlight uh, is that I also carry that title replace down into the page metadata so it's not also showing up there but all of the other notes that I'm processing through Readwise already have literature notes attached to them but not so with podcasts so I want a way to tag anything that comes from a podcast so that I can go in and add literature notes to it after the fact and this is where being able to look at the category in the page metadata and do something special uh, with that export is pretty cool. So I have this line set up here so that if the category is podcast, I will add the inbox tag so that I can query that in Obsidian so I know that I need further processing to this note before I am done with it. So now let's jump over to Obsidian and see how I have that set up. So in order to do the querying in Obsidian, I'm using a community plugin called DataView. Now to install it, if you go down to your settings, hit community plugins and browse, uh, you can just search for DataView and install it. And then there's a lot of functionality that you can use with DataView. I'm using a pretty simple uh, query as you'll see. So on my home page, I have this inbox setup, which is just a DataView query that looks for a list from anything with the tag inbox. And then I just get the list of all these reference notes that have the inbox tag, which I set up in my Readwise export. So if I take a look at one as an example, this is what comes from Readwise and automatically gets added to my Obsidian vault. You can see the inbox tag that I custom added because it was a podcast. And then here in these highlights, these are all the snips that I've taken while I was listening to that podcast. And then there's a link that I can click that'll take me to that one, one and a half minute audio of where I took the highlight. So I can re-listen to it and then I can come back to Obsidian and I can take a literature note uh, that is underneath that block for that 
highlight. And then I can link it to the keyword that I'm using so that it'll show up elsewhere in my uh, note crafting workflow, which I'll cover in a future video. And then once I've done going through all of the highlights, I can just remove the inbox tag and then it removes it from that query on my home page. So all that's here is things that I actually need to process. So that is how I use Snip and Readwise together to get the highlights that I've taken into my digital mind so that I can process them. Hopefully you found something useful in this video. Let me know if you do something similar or have any ideas for how this can be improved. I would love to hear about it and I will see you all next time.